Infrastructure is everywhere. In a city, infrastructure is almost everything. The American Society of Civil Engineers rated America's infrastructure at a D+, with a $4.59 trillion cost to improve. All parts of infrastructure have a life expectancy, so they will inevitably fail and pose a grim, rubble dystopia. Our infrastructure needs to be better inspected and maintained. At the Arizona State University campus, electricity, water, steam, and internet systems are collectively housed in a network of tunnels and supplied to every building. All 82,000 ASU students rely on this infrastructure, and failures end up having unseen consequences. Currently, ASU has a team of engineers that inspect these tunnels manually. The conditions are dangerous, with temperatures up to 125 degrees and hazardous air quality. Some of these inspections require the engineers to suit up in full safety gear, complete with a respirator, a time-consuming process. Director of Facilities Engineering, Richard Pretzman, knows all too well how difficult these systems are to inspect. What we have in the tunnels is a coordinate system so that when our technicians enter the tunnels, if they would become uh, either disoriented or get turned around and forget where they are, they can find one of those coordinates that are posted in the tunnels. If you are not familiar with that system and are not trained uh, in how to use it or, or understand what it is, it's, it would be very easy to get lost in the tunnels. The floors, you'll notice, are stone with concrete in between to support the piping, but that's in case we have a leak that the water would drain out into the ground instead of running into our buildings. In 2015, Noble Library at ASU was flooded due to a malfunction of the water system supplied by these tunnels. No books were destroyed, but the library was closed for a month for extensive repairs. Our team researched current pain points of industry professionals and infrastructure inspection to find a solution that helps solve America's failing infrastructure grade. If more money isn't going to be spent on infrastructure, there need to be more efficient methods to compensate for the lack of funding. Canary is encapsulated by a high-strength roll cage which allows it to navigate small spaces without risk of damage, free to bump into obstacles without fear, and able to safely take off from any position in the event of a crash. For long-distance travel, Canary's companion cart converts into a ground vehicle. The cart includes extra battery storage and a wireless repeater, allowing it to maintain communication in spaces where radio connection would normally be lost. The drone comes equipped with a small first-person view camera, as well as modular sensor payloads which can be swapped out easily in the field. This small camera makes flying Canary a breeze, but it doesn't have the resolution for a full inspection. The next sensor package boasts an HD camera combined with an infrared overlay. The complete video and temperature data are recorded on board, and the infrared can be overlaid onto the first-person view camera in real time. The last payload is a LiDAR scanner, which can be used to generate a full 3D model of underground infrastructure. This mapping also improves its ability to navigate the space during subsequent inspections, letting it rely on its own autopilot to reach its destination. The cage consists of 12 ribs connected to a central carbon fiber shaft. The nylon reinforced carbon fiber ribs can be removed independently for quick maintenance. To guarantee a long flight time, Canary's cart provides extra battery for the drone. On board is a wireless repeater, which extends operation to a thousand feet while still allowing out of sight control. Canary's software, Tunnel Vision, consolidates the large amount of recorded data into an intuitive experience. Users can easily select a specific inspection date or a range of times. The map allows users to select their position and displays HD or infrared video from that location. The prioritization algorithm shows points of interest like dangerous temperatures, cracking, and toxic air quality. When clicked, these hotspots show in-depth trends and allow the user to access an infrared post-processing module. Instead of delivering handwritten notes to their superiors, inspectors can now generate an executive report from templates or custom parameters. This prioritization means problems can be identified faster, allowing for proactive maintenance that saves time and money in the long run. Canary will increase the lifespan of existing infrastructure by reducing the amount of harm humans face in inspection, resulting in increased inspection frequency and quality. With Canary's help, our current infrastructure can live to serve future generations.